Hello YouTube viewers, I am back wishing you all a happy Easter. I hope all of you all out there that celebrate this holiday having a wonderful Easter. As uh, many families come together and eat and going out. If it's beautiful in your area where you stay, possibly fly a kite. But I know our Heavenly Father up above loves when families come together and are one accord and especially for the purpose of celebrating anything pertaining to him or giving him praise as you can see I still got on my leftover attire but uh hey I will get out this shortly but anyways I uh, see more viewers as I look and I see more viewers uh, watching and coming to check out my channel and I hope y'all are getting good insight and I hope y'all enjoy the messages I bring of course not making this up as I go along but actually through the power of the Holy Ghost and like I say I'm one of God's chosen ones I'm one of his chosen prophets prophets don't come all majestic they don't come all you know with fireworks and trumpets blowing but they come in the places you least expect them as Jesus came Jesus didn't come all with fireworks and majestic but he came in a most unexpected way people thought he would come and that's why it was so hard for a lot of people to accept him because they're like you the Messiah you the promised one and you not on the chariot and you know but anyways getting married to the message as far as dealing with self-destruction now self-destruction in America as far as Obama seeking change in America in order for America to be changed people must first change themselves and a lot of times self-destruction starts within the household of your own family and even Jesus spoke these words first as it's in Mark, Matthew, Luke where Jesus said a man's enemies start within his own household he said there will be division amongst families because of him and the righteous members who choose members of the family choose to be righteous and those choose to be unrighteous a lot of times um, it can be your own mother your own father who puts poison into your mind steering you away from your purpose steering you away and not teaching you the right way to go so there'll be a whole you could be born and a whole lot of immorality going on in your surroundings in your environment and they can kind of cause you to be stirred in the wrong direction a lot of people are depressed because of them growing in that bad environment and they end up going down the wrong roads and the wrong path and that's what's going on as far as in America the reason is so much destruction because they're miserable when they got kicked out of heaven is also projecting misery in others and building up their same rebellious misery miserable mentality in many all across the globe and that's why it's steady increasing as far as crime and uh, heinous crimes you know very very atrocious you know involving children and, and much much more and that's why this is going on because of the self-destruction that started within families and then later on with the world now today on Easter I witnessed something that I mean well good and bad I mean the miracles of Heavenly Father of course which I experienced it daily almost in my life and um, I saw I saw uh, I was visiting my father my dad mainly my dad but not anyways but I was visiting my dad and um uh, we was having a conversation and you know we're doing our bonding moment on Easter vision and whatnot and I looked outside and I saw a whole bunch of police officers and I saw a couple of fire trucks and I saw an ambulance and I, I saw a lot of people all surrounded and gathering around and I was wondering what's going on and to my shock and surprise I saw a fireman running out what looks like to be a two or three year old little girl and it looked like she was passed away in his arms when I say passed away it looked like she was she was deceased in his arms hopefully she was not you know that's something that I really really cannot get over or let go to see a child passed away you know it did something 
that's something hard I know for parents who may experience that and that's why I don't get for a person who is blessed to have a healthy uh, child a healthy living child and to go through the process and procedures of abortion when there are so many people who lost their healthy living child wishing that they can have their child back with them but yet there are people who have healthy living children and end up killing them intentionally through the process of abortion so all this self-destruction within the minds within the individuals in this country and by so much self-destruction within the individuals of this country brings the self-destruction of America because a whole lot of self-destructing individuals Barack seeks change but what Barack failed to understand is the change starts within each one of us individually changing the mentality of the way we think and I remember Barack saying it he said you know I want to change the mentalities of the people and uh in Capitol Hill in Washington or uh, Barack you know if you change the way the mentalities in Washington think the rest of the country is still the same way crime will still proceed everything will still be in chaos and great turmoil Barack can't do it just him alone but he needs the assistance and power of God and without that can nothing be changed nothing at all but for those who have grew up in them broken homes, who feel that, you know, there's no need to do what's right because the way you grew up, who envies the next person for them having so many nice things and you wish you had what they had, don't develop that same spirit that Satan developed in heaven. Don't develop that envious, jealous spirit, the spirit that causes self-destruction of your character, causing you to live a life that you're not meant to live. If you remember on the Lion King when Simba went off and he ran away after Scar and the hyenas chased him away. Simba was trying to live a life that he was not predestined to live. Simba came from a family of royalty and he was living a trashy life, a low life. And later on Simba came to his senses after his father reminded him of who he was. His father spoke to him several times, Simba remember who you are. You are my son and a one true king. Remember who you are. So brothers and sisters on YouTube, many that's watching all across the world, I tell you this, who remember who you are. You came from God and you are his children and he loves each and every one of you individually. He has spoken to me. Jesus has came and visited me personally in my dream, letting me know my purpose. Why am I here? Why am I here in these times of turmoil and chaos? These times of destruction and confusion. It's to deliver his message. To speak his very words. To reach out to those who wish to hear his words. To hear his truth. The truth. The overall definition of truth. Which is him. I come not to deceive you brothers and sisters. I came to help you and I'm sure as you watch this video you probably feel the spirit burn within that you feel and know that I am one of his messengers I am one of his prophets chosen to speak his very words don't give up the hope and don't give up faith in them God and Jesus exist and they waiting for your call they waiting for you to come to them with a broken heart and a contrite spirit to let them know your needs and your desires even though they already know they just want to hear you confess that you need them so they can go on pour their overflowing love into your lives I know this to be true not by brainwashed not by being poisoned not by being deceived nor by force do I know these things but I know these things by personal revelation and experience I know these things by the power of love that our Heavenly Father created. I hope you ponder these words in your heart and I hope it helps you to grow and heal your broken hearts or those whose hearts are cold. Peace be unto you and Christ for life.